All right, all right, y'all. Today we're going to be going over my 30 minute speedrun video. This will take you to C9 if you're doing it correctly. Um, not everybody's really going to use this video, more of a math, me being a nerd thing. So uh, hopefully you'll find it useful if you're making uh, like spy studies and you need to get to level 12 quickly, or if you're just, um, you know, making your farm accounts or something. Uh, it's just really just kind of a way to save some time. So the guide really goes around this uh, doomsday recovery plan. Uh, here's the plan. You can screenshot this. Um, really, there's a lot of going back and forth, clicking through menus. It wastes a lot of time. So I've kind of developed a method where you basically just do as much as you can on one screen before going to the next screen. And that way you can uh, save some time clicking through the menus. Uh, so here's kind of like an overview. It's not everything. I got kind of lazy while I was making it, but it's most of the stuff that you need to do. Um, and as you get to the end, that last upgrade takes 10 hours, so this will basically take you to uh, that upgrade. So as the game starts, you're just going to kind of speed through all this entry level stuff. Make your buildings, recruit your troops, um, play the tower defense level, and then once you get to the doomsday recovery plan, you're basically going to immediately not do the doomsday recovery plan, and we're going to try to knock out as much as that, as much of that list as we can um, before going back to the doomsday recovery plan. Uh, one of the most helpful things is joining an alliance. Um, if you can get in an alliance that's active, they'll help you. And the help times, uh, you know, every time somebody helps you, it'll take like 30 seconds off. So if you get a good alliance and there's like 10 people in there, then you might be able to do the speed run faster. Uh, if you can't find a good alliance, then, you know, this might take a long time because one of the quests is actually getting help times. So. Um, hopefully you can get into a good alliance or join like maybe one of your farm alliances of course if it's a spy account you can't do that um, but um, one thing I recommend to not do is actually uh, click into the uh, biochem factory especially if this is like a spy city you're never going to use it and it takes you know a while to go through that menu like 30 seconds to a minute so uh, there's really no need to click through that. Just make sure that you're kind of boosting everything along. Uh, opening your bag, opening the event uh, level up, and doing all these beginner quests and collecting all of the um, resources. Since we're speeding through, you don't get any resources, so the only way that you get them are from doing these quests. So another good tip is you'll be using your commander skills to get the harvest skill, which gives you resources based off of your output. So make sure that you have built and upgraded all of your resource buildings before you actually uh, use that harvest skill, otherwise you won't get that many resources from it. It's just a little boost, but it might save you a little bit. Other than that, we will just continue building along, upgrading all of your buildings, continue glancing back to the Doomsday Guide, and just kind of doing the next things uh, that you can before you can do them. Uh, make sure you're asking your Alliance for help, getting all your help times. Um, like while you're doing a longer building, you can go, you know, use all these freebies and build up the rest of your buildings and then go back, you know, once you've got a few help times and then use some speeds to finish off your longer buildings. Um, make sure you're getting, you know, your speeds from the from the bag, the city upgrade. Um, when you run out of resources, get to your quests, collect all the resources. Um, make sure you do the, um, you know, set some troops aside to do the gather. One of the quests is gathering 10,000 um, oil, so start that one early. Again, I don't recommend doing the biochem facility. Um, waste a little bit of time, but uh, I guess if it's your farm, you can. But yeah, make sure you gather the oil quickly, and then every time you get like a little break or you have to do a long building upgrade, just go back over to the map, kill another zombie. I think you need to kill up to zombie level 8 uh, just to get to C9. And then 
continue doing some of this stuff. As you can see, I needed to build my camp and I was recruiting, so I do waste some speeds to, you know, build some more troops, but you do need to build some troops so you can kill those zombies, although you do get some uh, troop cards from your bag on your city upgrade package, so it's not really necessary, just save that for building. Um, make sure you're using your commander skills to get your uh, building upgrade queue. Get that 5% off, it helps just a little bit. Every little bit helps. Um, you don't really need to do any research if this is like a spy city, uh, but if this is gonna be one of your farms, you can go ahead and do some of these extras. I was kind of building this account, assuming it was gonna be a, a fighting farm, so I'm kind of doing all the unnecessary extra stuff on the speed run, but I still do it in a little bit over 30 minutes. And, um, yeah, once you uh, get kind of far, you'll be doing these longer upgrades, and some of them would take a little bit of time. So once you get to a spot, um, I like to start getting my depot ready and going. Uh, then you can hop back over and start doing some of your tower defense levels. Um, and then, I guess it's kind of like once you run out of resources and you kind of get stuck, then you can go back and do your tower defense. But just make sure you do a long upgrade, that way your uh, building upgrade doesn't finish uh, while you're doing your tower defense levels, and then you're just wasting more time. So once you get into your tower defense levels, um, the first level doesn't really matter, you can just place gunners everywhere. Make sure you're clicking times four on the top right corner to blaze through these levels. I'll probably do a more in-depth guide for all of the tar defense levels later, but kind of your quick freebie is you want to put rockets at the beginning and blast all the troops, and then later on you want to have your uh, lasers and single target gunners to, you know, hit the guys to get through the rockets, but usually if you get a rocket and a laser on a target area, like within a slow, then you can blast most of the stuff and just kind of uh, choke point and kill everything. So, um, so you can see here, I got three rockets, just blast everything while the laser hits the single targets and then everything gets into the slow. Um, that's kind of just going to be your strategy as you go through these. Uh, make sure you're collecting all of your rewards after each level. Um, and that's kind of it. You'll just blast through all these. You should be able to beat up to level 8 pretty easily without any uh, boost to your city. So as long as you build your towers in the right order and in the right spots, you can just uh, you can beat all these no problem. And then you can get lots of uh, speeds, lots of um, little extra bonuses, and then this will help you complete that doomsday recovery plan, which will give you even more speeds and more resources to help us get along faster. And you get some commander XP from doing this as well, so make sure you go back and uh, use that commander XP. Again, if this is a fighting farm, you can use it on your gathering bonuses. If it's just like a spy account, then, you know, kind of who cares, you're just going to be... <laughs> ditching this account once you get to 12 anyway. But yeah, now we can go through our Doomsday Recovery Plan. A couple of these you won't be able to complete early, so you'll want to complete them as they come up in the plan. One of those is Help Allies, so even though you're requesting help, you want to leave a couple of the Help Allies there, because if you get to that point and don't have any Alliance help, you'll get stuck. Also, one of the quests is to uh, star up your officers, and if you star them up as soon as you appoint them, then you will be screwed. <laughs> It'll take you a while to get more officer fragments to complete that doomsday quest. So just kind of, you may appoint your officers, but don't actually do anything with them. And, um, because you want to be saving those for the, uh, for the doomsday quest, but... You know, kill another zombie here or there, do another small quest here or there, but you basically blow through all these Doomsday Recovery Plan quests, get all the boosts, get all the resources, and then just kind of continue on with it. 
see there's another star up officer so if you used all your stars the first time then you'd be SOL but the second time through you can um, go ahead and boost them all the way get a little bit of a building bonus using your officer fragments on ginger and using all your XP to boost her up to like 12 and then continuing to blaze along with the challenge and before long you will be getting ready for that C9 upgrade or if you plan on building up your account to take it to a new world say it's world uh, 599 and you're wanting to go into world 600 then you can boost your account to 8 and as long as you're within two days of account creation you can build your world and you know rise all the buildings to 8 and then the second that 600 opens you can port your account over it's kind of a little cheat but um, you know you can make your accounts get them all boosted and then zoom over to the new world uh, otherwise you'll be starting that level 9 upgrade and you'll probably be out of boosts or nearly out of boosts so you know go to sleep come back the next day and continue on to c12 or whatever else you're going for um, Again, a lot of people probably aren't going to get a lot of use out of this video, but it was kind of a fun thing that I wanted to make. I like doing speed runs, and I like making things efficient, so this is more for me than probably for anybody else. Alright everybody, I think that's it for today. Be safe out there, and remember this is a game, so have fun. And as always, the shameless plug at the end of the video. If you guys wouldn't mind liking the video, sharing it, subscribing, leaving a comment, whatever you can do to help me out. Hope you liked it and hope you learned something.